from a tree planted at the time of Hawaiian royalty 150 years ago. Seedlings are now taking root on Oahu. Tonight in a KITV4 exclusive, it's the story of an effort to save the genetic legacy of a rare old Cuban mahogany tree by cloning it. Here's KITV4's Dick Allgaier. It was a grand historic tree that experts say grew for as long as 150 years at Moanalua Gardens. Last year, part of the old tree was rotting. A huge branch fell. The tree had to come down. Much of the wood was good. Not just good, it was superior wood with lovely grain, some of the best wood in the world for making fine furniture. Local craftsmen are using some of the wood to make musical instruments like this ukulele. One of the problems that I've always had using you know, exotic woods for furniture is that the trees have to die in order for it to happen. This is the first time that the tree actually can live on. Experts took cuttings from the tree and grafted them onto seedlings. The cloning procedure produces a genetic copy of the original tree, and the seedlings are now taking root at various locations around Oahu. We have over 50 right now. We're planting some within the park. Since the uh, property once belonged to Bernice Pauly Bishop, I'd like to see that one of these get planted up at the Bishop Estate, the Kamehameha Schools. J.P. Damon hopes some might be planted at Kapiolani Park and at the Honolulu Zoo. This tree in a hundred years could yield exactly the same kind of lumber. It's the genetic material from the original tree. So it's an amazing story involving so many products and so many people, all from one seedling that may have been planted as long as 150 years ago. Dick Allgaier, KITV4 News.